Now, let's focus on Kipa. Usually, si sellers, ang gusto nila is yung product is still profitable in the prices in last 90 days or last 3 months. Kipa is used to track the previous prices, the previous sales from on a specific product so that we can use as a basis in the next days or in the future if this product is still profitable and saleable. For example, this one, buy box long luna. So in last 3 months, let's say last May 4, yung price is 22.99. Ngayon is around 19 or bumagsak siya around 18.99. So yung lowest price niya na medyo nagtagal siya is around 18.99 or 19. Let's say, nabili mo siya ng around $7. So, kung babasihan natin yun yung previous price niya in last 90 days, bumagsak siya, bumalik siya to $19. So, kinulang na tayo. Hindi na siya aabot. Around $1 na lang. So, kadalasan or ideally, na ginagamit na price sa selling price is yung 90 days average buy box price. Kung walang buy box or buy box suppress siya, yung pangalawang price na gagamitin is yung FBA price. Since FBA seller naman kadalasan yung client natin. Pero, mas priority yung buy box price. Kasi, syempre, kung sino yung magkakaroon ng buy box, siya yung makakabenta ng product. Sige, sa isahin natin anong meron sa Kipa. So, first is yung sales graph. Ito yung sales graph movement. So, kung mas mabilis yung movement ng graph is ibig sabihin, nabibenta yung product. For example, pag taas ng price, hindi nabibenta. Pag drop is nabenta. Pag taas, hindi nabenta. Pag drop, benta. Taas konti, pag drop, benta. Yan yung drops na sinasabi. Yung hinanap natin na product is at least parang ganito. Ito. It's been saleable talaga siya. Mas mabilis yung movement niya. Yan yung sales rank. Next is yung buy box. Ito naman yung buy box price. So, iba-iba. Kung kita mo dito, ngayon is 20.95 yung price at nakakuha ng buy box is yung pangalan ng store is Asserson. Dito naman is Mufin, yung pangalan ng store, Capital Supply. Yan. Salitan yung mga sellers sa listing na to sa pagkuha ng buy box. Okay? So, yan yung buy box. Next, yung mga importante lang, FBA price. Yun. Sa so, FBA price, yung mga triangle ato indication dito na may nakabenta na FBA seller sa time nito. FBM price ganun pa din. Next, isa pa sa kailangan natin na pansin is yung review count. Yan. Last May, yung total review count niya is 340 pero pagpunta May 27, 28, managdagdagan yung review count ng isa. Ang ibig sabihin nito, pag tumataas yung review count, ibig sabihin may nabebentang product. Hindi lang enough kung ang babasihan natin is yung yung monthly sales. Yan ito, 50 plus daw yung monthly sales in last 30 days, hindi enough na dito ka lang mag-waste. Pwede din natin gamitin yung review count. Tandaan natin na hindi lahat ng customer na bumili sa product na to is mag-iwan ng review. Okay? So, ang ratio lang is 1 is to 10. So, kung may 10 review, ibig sabihin may 100 units na nabenta. Estimated pa rin niya. Okay? Next is yung new offer count. Ibig sabihin, dito, time na to is 8 sellers. Biglang makyat, naging 9. Dito, bumagsak ng 8. May nakabenta, pero nakapag-stack ulit. 9. Dito, 11. Walang naka-out of stock. Dito, na 10. Nabenta. Makiyat naman ulit. May nagdagdag isang seller. Yun. Pag may drastic drop of offer count or number of sellers, ibig sabihin, possible siya na may IP claims. For example, from 20 sellers sa listing na yun, bumagsak ng naging dalawa or tatlo na lang. So, yung ibang seller na natanggal dun is tinanggal yung listing nila sa Amazon. Meron ako sample dyan. Yung product na to is Body Wash. Free owns. Yung brand is native. So, click natin yung offer count. Yan. Napapansin mo, dito, from 22 sellers, biglang bumagsak ito 11. So, ito yung visible talaga na may IP claim history yung listing na to or yung ASIN na to. Okay? So, from 22 sellers, biglang 11 sellers lang. Hindi possible na may isang sa isang buyer na biglang bumili ng madaming units tapos biglang out of stock lahat, lahat. Hindi possible yun. Siguro may mabawasan na ng isa, dalawa, or, tato, or maximum lima. Pero ito, 10, 11 sellers yung matanggal sa isang listing, hindi talaga possible yun. Ito, meron pa akong isang sample. Ayan. Click natin yung offer count. Click natin yung one year. Click natin yung, ayun, dito. 
So, bigla nawala yung 25 seller at bumagsak into 1 seller. Yan yung indicator kung paano titingnan kung may IP claim history or may nangyari tanggalan ng seller sa isang mistake. Importante din na titingnan natin yung seller account. Next, meron din tayong tinatawag na track product. Okay, sa track product, itong product na to yung itatrack. Kadalasan, applicable to sa Amazon Flip. Pag price kasi, pag si Amazon yung magbebenta, may tendency din na babagsak yung price. Tendency na biglang akyat. So, kung gusto mong ma-notify kung kailan babagsak yung price, need mo i-input yung amount na price na desired mo na babagsak below para bibigyan ka ni Amazon ng email, sendan ka ng email na, hey, create is hey Mitch na uh, itong listing or itong AC na to is currently gantong price na. Next is sa data. Dito sa data tab, dito mo makikita halos lahat ng information na kailangan. Picture, anong marketplace, yung title, sales rank, review ratings, yan. Yung ideal na review rating sa isang listing is 4 star above. Ito, 4.5 is really good to. Review count, current review count is 3.51. Okay, last price change last 3 hours ago. Yan, volatile. Ganyan talaga si Amazon. Volatile yung price. Buy box, is si FBA seller. Lowest FBA seller is ito yung pangalan. Capital supply. Yan, referral fee. FBM seller. Lowest FBM seller. So, nag-track siya. Nag-start ng listing ito since 2018. So, ano yung category? Patio. Yan, ito yung ASIN. EAN, UPC. Friend ASIN. Kung may variation, yan, variation ASIN is ito. Yan, number of items or pack is apat. Ito yung mga sizes. Yan, dito. Uh, sales rank currently, ito. Dito sa sales rank, mas mababa yung sales rank. Ibig sabihin, mas saleable. Okay? So, last 30 days, average sales rank is 80K. Last 60 days is 72K. Last 90 days is 70K. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, in last 3 months, saleable na saleable talaga yung product. Ito yung drops. Mas madaming drops, mas saleable yung product. Ito yung buy box, current buy box. Ideally, yung ginagamit na price sa listing to is 21.08. Hindi pwedeng gamitin natin yung current kasi may chance na mag-fluctuate or mag-increase yung price. So, nagamitin natin is yung 90 days average buy box price. Applicable lang din to na gamitin kung hindi siya nag-buy box surprise yung listing na yan. Yung third party prices, ito. Kung buy box surprise, ito yung gagamitin mo. 90 days FBA price. So, ito yung mga information na makikita mo dito sa Kipa. Next offers, dito sa offers, makikita mo yung mga competitors mo. So, last 30 days, total sold is 107 yung na-declare. So, ito yung price history, ito yung mga stock nila. So, sa seller na to, stock niya is 24, nabenta siya, pababa, pababa. So, good indicator to na nabibenta yung product. Kasi nababawasan yung stock. Dito, ito si Aceron, stable yung stock niya. Yan. Pag itong itsura na graph, good indicator to na mabilis na benta yung product. Si Mufin, meron siyang 85 units na sold in last 30 days. In total, sold na is 182 units. Si Cerson, 11, 7, 2, and 1. So, yung leading natin, si Mufin. Yan. Rotating yung buy box, 1 hour ago, yung nakakuha siya. So, nag-start siya, nag-list is 16 month ago. Tapos, nakakuha siya na ng buy box is ito, 1 hour ago. Yan. Next is, dito sa buy box statistics. Dito mo makita yung percentage kung ilang share or owned buy box ng bawat seller. So, yung leading in last 30 days is si Flex Supply. Now, which is, meron siyang 32% in whole one month na nakuha yung buy box. So, ibig sabihin siya yung pinaka nakakuha ng sales. Eh. Pangalawa is si Mufin Capital. Pero check natin yung 90 days. Yung leading is si AZ Best Group. So, possible na nag-out of stock lang siya in last 30 days. Hindi siya nakapag stock kaya hindi na siya leading. Si Flex Supply is siya yung possible na mas madami yung stock. Madaming na benda. Yung 180, yan. Good indicator to na rotating yung buy box. Pero once may manakita kang 100%, 90% dito sa isang seller lang or si Amazon mismo or si brand, auto-pass tayo dyan. So, ito yung kung kailan sila nakapanalo ng buy box. So, just now, yung nakuha ng buy box is si Capital Supply. Yan. 17 hours, yung si AZ best deal two days ago yan rotating talaga yung five bucks so sa use hindi natin ito kailangan kasi walang second hand earn money settings dito mo i-set kung ano yung gusto mong makita sa graph pero kahit default lang makikita mo lang yung mga price yung buy box FBA FBM tapos yung rating review ka kahit walang rating na kahit ito lang ito lang na naka-on sa keep kahit ito lang okay na okay so mag-go deeper tayo along the way about sa keep pa paano pa tayo mag-qualify kasi yung diniscuss ko lang is basic on how to read keep pa may, may mas in-depth pa dito okay?